Hey guys, uh, I wanted to make a quick video uh, about how to create uh, queues in Salesforce. And th these queues can, can be used to uh, basically allow a group of users to access a group of records uh, for just about any object in Salesforce. Um, this is a really simple process. I would say a, a beginner admin can do this. Uh, but queues are really useful for uh, utilizing within um, lead assignment rules, case assignment rules, uh, approval processes, and things like that. So uh, although the lead queue um, or case queue or any kind of queue you want to create may be really simple uh, to create, um, the actual utilization of those queues uh, can be a bit more complicated. But for this video, we're just going to show uh, how to create a queue. So what you want to do is, uh, depending on what version of Salesforce you're using, you'll see a setup button at the top, or you can click your name and then click setup. And then you want to come down to, on your left side panel, manage users, and then click queues. So you can see that I've already got one queue set up called United States Lead Queue. And what I'm attempting to do now is create uh, a, another queue for Canada. Um, and basically, I'm going to be routing my leads into different queues based on what country they're part of. Uh, so I'm just going to click here for a new queue. And I will call this Canada Lead Queue. And the queue can have an email associated with it. And you can also set it so that uh, you send an email to the members of the queue uh, anytime a record is transferred into the ownership of the queue. Uh, so I'm not going to do that right now uh, because this is a test environment. I, I don't want to receive an email every time uh, I move a lead into my ownership. So here you choose the object or objects um, that you want to be able to flow into this queue. So what we're doing right now is we want I only want leads to be able to come into this queue. So I'm going to choose the lead object from the available objects and push it into the selected objects. And so now lead records will be allowed to go into this queue or to be uh, owned by this queue. And then you choose queue members. So you can choose any number of members you can <clears throat> from your users. You can also choose uh, members based on public groups they're part of, roles that they're part of. Um, and these are your basic kind of sharing uh, ch choices that you, you tend to have other places in Salesforce. So for now, I'm just going to go with users and just add myself to the queue. So I'll be the only member of the queue. Uh, but of course, you could add other members as well. And we'll go ahead and save that off. So now you see that we have the Canada lead queue and we have the United States lead queue. Uh, so the basic purpose of this would be that if I were to come to a lead record and I wanted to change ownership of that lead away from an individual user, I could change the ownership to a queue and choose the Canada or United States lead queue. Now, I'm going to follow this up with a lead assignment rule video uh, that will automatically assign new leads uh, to these queues uh, automatically based on which country they're part of. Um, so if you want to check out that video, awesome. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please comment uh, below in the comment section. And uh, thanks everybody for watching.